anything, I think there's going to be more bots, um, but they're not necessarily going to be bad bots, if that makes sense. Uh, the news industry could actually counteract a lot of the uh, negativity around, um, uh, around fake news and verification by putting out information in a way that people find it easier to consume, which might be through one-on-one -on -one kind of communication. A lot of news outlets are already doing this by um, scaling up those individual conversations with the readers by so setting up bots, for example, that can talk to them and answer their questions. The positives are the ability to scale the amount of journalism that you produce and also to create some degree of hyper-personalization. Uh, this, is, this is something that I've spent a lot of time thinking about, is how right now news outlets aren't just competing against each other. That's a very common mis misperception. Who they're competing against includes Netflix and Twitter and Facebook and Amazon and your family, like basically any other way you could be spending your time other than reading, reading a news outlet's work or watching a video that they've produced. So news outlets need to stop thinking about it that way and start focusing on what a lot of these big tech companies have already succeeded at, which is being able to make their information more relevant to their readers. And so AI can go a long way towards um, helping personalize the news. So for example, if you're reading a story and it happens to reference exactly the town that you live in and what the implications are of that story on you personally. If, um, if, if you're basically, you know, the way that you check the weather report, being able to find out, um, you know, the sports scores for your local high school team and actually have a story completely written about them. That's something, you know, n not every reporter is going to go out and cover every high school soccer game or science Olympiad game or whatever it is, but you can have, um, you, you, you can have ro robots like synthesize that information and put together a story that's very relevant for parents and students and teachers. So we could see a whole lot more of that. As for the negatives, one thing that, uh, that I worry about a whole lot is the ability to fabricate video and audio in a way that could fool anyone. I mean, of course, you, you, you've probably seen examples of this, of um, being able to change someone's voice to, to kind of clip things together and make it sound like they said something different. And that's something that's just going to get easier and easier with artificial intelligence so you can produce videos and audio that never happened. Right now, we are in a dangerous situation where our president is already talking about fake news and the enemy of the people and telling you you shouldn't, hear, shouldn't believe what you hear or what you see. Think about how much worse that would be if literally any news outlet could come up with video that is completely fabricated or politicians could convince you that they have done that because it's so possible and you've been exposed to so much fake video and fake audio that it loses all meaning what is real and what is not real.